three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What up, Barnito? Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What up, Jason? How are you doing today? Hope everything's going well. <laughs> Happy New Year. I know this is the day after, but, you know, everyone's got to still say it. I'm, I wasn't in yesterday. But you have a good one so far? Ready for a solid weekend? Happy 2021 to you too, Ricky. Hope everything's going well. Shauna, appreciate you being here. Hope everything's going well. Hello, hello. You too, Cody. You having a good new year so far? And Melvin, hey, how are you doing? Um, and uh, something about, uh, something to say to your mom tomorrow? <laughs> I don't, my Spanish isn't very good. <laughs> and happy new year, everyone. <laughs> you guys do anything wild? I know I stayed up till 1230. I actually made it to the new year, so I was pretty stoked about that. And uh, you're my biggest fan, or I'm your biggest fan. Thank you very much, Christian. I appreciate you being here. And Mayon, yo, how are you living? Oh, wait. No, Mon, how are you doing today? Appreciate you being here as well. Nolan, what up? You're the man, such a motivator. Let's get this spread this year. 100%. We're getting bread. I'm learning how to bake. We're going to be, make, be making some cinnamon raisin bread. We're going to get every type of whole wheat out there. We got, we're going to get a lot of bread this year. <laughs> and Russ, Happy New Year to you too. And Christian, hey, nice guy. I appreciate you being here. You guys uh, have a wonderful time. Sorry I missed you all yesterday. Me and I kind of had this weird revelation where we're like, let's just start the new year doing absolutely nothing. And we watched about 14 hours of uh, Shit's Creek. I don't know if you guys have watched that show at all. And we actually watched uh, one hour of The Stand. Is anyone else watching that on CBS right now? And uh, you're just stopping by to say happy 2021. Well, happy 2021 to you too, Haley. What's the New Year's resolutions like looking for everyone? I'll let you guys, uh, I'll let you in on mine. I'm going to meditate every day for at least, at least five minutes. So it's not overbearing, but I can obviously go more over more if I want. Um... And then other one is going to be um, read for at least 10 minutes every day as well. I mean, I've got other goals and stuff, but I think those are like the two things I want to make sure I do every single day. So I'm looking forward to that. Even though yesterday I didn't start off on like the best note of the new year, it was kind of refreshing mentally to just be like, no, I don't need to have this entire process of, if I don't do it every single day, I feel like I'm losing my goal. So in a way, starting off by just having a mental recovery day with me and I was kind of nice. Because that's like, alright, I guess we kind of already broke it. But now the pressure is really off and we can do it. Not because we have to do it every single day of the year, but because we want to. And so that's kind of like our little strategy that we had is not feeling obligated by restraint, but doing it because we want to do it. Um, and really just, I guess, failing on the first day was kind of nice. <laughs> and, uh, what else we got? It's Shit's Creek is a great show, right, Travis? I feel you. You feel me? It's freaking awesome. And say hello to your niece, Daphne from Mexico. She's your biggest fan. Nine years old. Well, thank you very much, Daphne, for being such a big fan. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> and you're going to get them top grades. Oh, that's the way to go, uh, Matthias. Very nice. Get them top grades. Solid goals to have. And you didn't leave the couch yesterday? Hey, I'm right there with you, Destiny. It was, a, it was a pretty awesome day. And you're trying to read 30 books this year. Oh, shoot. That's good. What do you got first on your list? And Happy New Year from Chicago. Awesome to have you here, Rach. Thank you very much for tuning in. Zed, your resolution is to meditate more. And do some type of workouts every day. There you go. Well, shoot, that's a, I mean, that's a tall order to ask. I mean, not, I mean, granted, it's definitely possible. But every single day, get a workout in. I guess where, where I'm at is with the reading and meditating, I put a time, a minimum amount of time that I have to do 
my resolutions for. And I think that's 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 a good way to go. Because some days it's gonna be easy just to not five minutes. Like I should be able to do five minutes every single day. And that seems a little more achievable rather than like I'm gonna grind out like a hardcore 30 minute workout every single day for a year. Like that that could be a little unrealistic at times. And uh Wait, hold on, I totally am away from the chat too much. Um, there we go. And Shit's Creek was one of the best things about 2020. 100%. I am obsessed with Roland. He is killing me. Every time he comes on the screen, I feel like I just start laughing already. <laughs> and Cody, what do you got? What's your favorite restaurant in Ann Arbor? Oh, I'm all about um, teriyaki time. Google it. It's 100% the greatest, the greatest thing I've missed most about Ann Arbor. Um, and you're a student and love hearing about what other people like? Nice! Well, what's your favorite, Cody? Appreciate you tuning in. Got the alumni out here. I'm liking it. So I'm a University of Michigan loving. I love it. Go blue, baby! <laughs> and Scott, what's the name of the device in your hands for the forearm exercise? That is a TheraBand Flex Bar. Highly recommend for uh, elbow and wrist rehab. And then the broom is always just a clutch way to go. <laughs> also, elbow and wrist rehab. And, uh, yeah, that answers your question, too, Nolan. And Don, Happy New Year from Louisiana. We have four seasons in a week. Oh, where you have four seasons in a week? Well, that's also like Colorado Springs, not going to lie. We've got snow, rain, sun, <laughs> all, everything's happening in a, in a very crazy, crazy time, that's for sure. And trying to get like you this year? Oh, that's awesome, John. You can, we, we can work on it all together. We're always just getting better every day. That's the plan right there. <laughs> and David, go blue for Michigan. Appreciate having you all the way in from Michigan. And Zed, even if it's just walking or riding a bike, there you go. That's that's good. That's good. Just, you know, a little something. Don't, don't put too much pressure on it. I think that's the best way to actually be successful for a year's resolution. Um, and how long can you hold a handstand? Just curious. Happy New Year from the Philippines. Appreciate having you, Eugene, from the Philippines. I think my record's probably like two and a half, or two, two and a half minutes. I haven't done one in a long while, but I think that's the, the last, the longest I've done, at least freestanding. Um, I've never really gone past that, I think. I, maybe I've done three minutes against the wall or something, but uh, yeah, not something I really have trained too much. The guys in China, they can hold handstands for like 45 minutes. I, I don't know what how beneficial that is to be able to spend that much time in a handstand, but I don't know. that It, it blows my mind being able to see them do that. <laughs> and Heather, your name is... Oh, wait. Hi, your name is Aiden, and you do gymnastics. You're 11 years old, and watching you on my mom's Facebook, you are my idol. Um, and you are on competitive boys team in Michigan. Oh, very nice. Well, appreciate you tuning in, Aiden. Hope everything's going well. Are you able to train in a gym consistently? Uh, have a good good amount of time to be progressive? And what are your goals for the year? Let me see, I need to scroll down a little bit more. And you're currently reading All Quiet on the Western Front. Harrowing story of pain and loss, unfortunately, but it's based on history. War novels yeah, are emotionally taxing. Hey, so that's what, kind of what books are about though, getting those emotions invoked deep inside of you so sounds like you're on a good one so far that's kind of where I'm at where I just need to I need to read a little bit more every day so I started my day with meditating and uh, reading more of the think like a monk book and it's got a lot of activities that are really good um, especially for the new year I'm it's got me prioritize like it, it so one of the challenges it said is Write out all the things that matter most to you and what your priorities in life are. Um, and not things that are like work based, but things that are personally based. And so, you know, I wrote a list and then now I have to go through my week and write down at the end of the day how much time I spent on all the things that I think matter to me and what make me who I think I am. And uh, see if it correlates with who I want to be versus what I'm doing because it's showing it's supposed to be reflection on how often are you like actually putting action into being the person you want to be and so that's that's a big goal that I'm kind of uh, gonna be geared towards is doing things that you know I think I should be doing not things that other people dictate that think that I think I should be doing 
And so it's kind of just like a good little reflection, but that book is awesome. And so getting a lot of more reading in this year, so pumped from that. And Patricio, hi from Chile. We love you. I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for tuning in. And Gabriel, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. And how are the doggies? Are they relaxing? Yeah, I think they are. I think they're outside just hanging out because it's a nice sunny day. We got a lot of snow on the ground, but, you know, things are progressing. It's, it's a solid day to go outside. I need to go get a little nature walk a little bit later, too. Um, and did I ever do side tracks? Or did you ever do side tracks in Depot Town? No. I'm not even sure what side tracks are. Um, but how's the broom? Gabe, it's going well. The <laughs> Everything is smooth, and we are cruising through. Oh, I got a lot more on the chat. My bad. Um, and uh, you're inspiring. I appreciate it, Eugene. Thanks for being here again. And yeah, Cody, teriyaki time is incredible. Um, your favorite restaurant is probably No Tai. All right, I like the No Tai. Uh, have you done the Dimok challenge yet? This man, I was I was sweating for like hours after going for that. And Marcos, hey, how are you doing? Hope everything's going well. <laughs> Staples, have you watched Gymnastic Samurai on Funimation? No, that's actually something I need to do. I'm gonna put that on my to-do list. I need to check that out. And Uncle Tony, Happy New Year to you too. Glad to hear you're back in the gym. Yeah, it's been phenomenal. I have a couple videos that I'll end up posting on Instagram later, but coming back in the gym, I am, I'm much further along than I thought I was. I was able to get to pelts, peaches, I like am fixing my technique for Coleman's and Casinas, which are going real well. I have all the skills for a second half on high bar. Planning on getting that done today. Um, also, rings, I felt phenomenal. I got some ring strength in the other day. Um, we have, I did a last half on rings. Where is it? Floor and vault. I'm really working on my pre-flight, my entry, so that I've got great heel drive right off the board. Um, so working on that. Haven't done many passes on floor, but today's the day for that. So that's what we're warming up for, getting, getting all the cylinders, you know, pumping so that we can have a great day in the gym later. Um, but yeah, with that, let us, uh, oh wait, let me finish a couple of these chats. Um, and Zed, oh, what up, Will, how are you doing? And Zed, has high bar always been my favorite? Yeah, I think I've always just had a knack for high bar and loving the skills on that event most. And Rage, your goal is to read more? That's awesome. How much uh, are you look? Are you trying to do like a chapter a day? You got a time limit? And what book are you starting on? And uh, Ryan, level 7, also watching from Mom's Facebook. Kevin Mazaika is your coach? Awesome. Well, tell Kevin I said, hey, I miss him. He's such a good dude. And you've got a, you're in a great hands. He's a great coach. Um, and a strong year for you. I'm hoping to, uh, for a strong year as well, Nuno. Um... And my son Joe says hi, year's favorite. We'll tell him my or hello Joe. Hope everything's going well and you've got a great new year as well. And Tara, how are you doing? Uh, my New Year's was awesome. We did like a four course meal. Um, you know, we played or we didn't even play games. We were just up chatting the whole time. <laughs> but is it that broom your whip? Brittany! <laughs> it is! I need a I need a more rustic one that people throw away though. Uh, <laughs> that is how I get around. I'm always flying with my magic powers. Always appreciate you being here, Brittany. <laughs> uh, we miss you. We need to hang out sometime soon. And I have some resolutions for this year, hanging out with friends more. That's actually one of mine. I need to, like, reach out and FaceTime with friends and family a lot more often. Um, remaining socially active. I think after 2020, that's a, that's a good New Year's resolution for everyone. Um, keeping God in my life and spending more time with family members. That sounds wonderful. You've got a great, great agenda ahead of you. And what up, Josh? How are you doing today? And Travis, you have made some resolutions this year, hanging out with friends more. Remaining. Oh, wait, I just read that. <laughs> Robert Marcos, appreciate you guys being here. You always love watching me uh, vault final in London. Yes, that's probably one of my one of my favorite moments that I've ever had in gymnastics. Uh, I'm definitely share, share the passion for that clip, uh, just like you. Um, we always love watch. Oh, there we go. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, Josh. Artin, all the way from Iran. Appreciate you being here. And any great restaurants in the... Oh, Ypsilanti. I, yeah, I haven't really been to Ipsy very much. I'll, I'll, I will admit to that. Uh, but I'm sure there's some really good stuff. And Cody, you get the Dimok every time? What? 
Oh, you're insane! Holy crap! I could not handle that spice every time I go there. And did I check out the monk music? You know what? I have not, but I'm gonna open up my Facebook just so I could get that going. Um, whenever I can find this. Alright, hold on, hold on. I do, I've been putting this off for too long. And there's no better time than now, right? I am, uh, what else we got? <laughs> Did you, oh, I'm checking it out now, though, I promise. Marcos, appreciate you being here. Um, where do I need to go? I have no idea how to work Facebook anymore, guys. The struggles, the struggles. <laughs> I, are, am I good friends with uh, your US teammates like Jake Dalton? I'll say the guys that have retired, I haven't really kept up with too much. Uh, I know I catch up with Shane and Colin pretty often. Well, now Shane all the time that we're working out. Um, but honestly, don't really get too many updates from anyone else. Uh, we, especially since we haven't had camps in a very long time. And Maria, hello. Appreciate you being here. Turner! My gosh, I freaking love you, man. Happy New Year! I hope you guys had a good one! I appreciate you tuning in! What'd you guys do for New Year's? Me and I just hung out with the pups and we had another uh, friend couple come over and we just baked and cooked and had a good time, but... Uh, yeah, hope everything's going well for you. Miss you, man. We need to catch up soon. And you're working on reading more two staples? That's the way to go. You gotta finish the Witcher books? Nice! Yeah, I know. I got a big list that I need to read, but I haven't checked them out in a while. Marcel, appreciate you being here. Oh, you have lockdown for two months now? What? Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. You might, you might need just another place to find a train for a little bit if you can. And hello, Mark. How are you doing? And Haley, you're eating right now with the cousins. Happy New Year to you, too. Uh, Mark, oh yeah. Appreciate you being here from the Philippines. And Will, have you been in the gym? Or, we have been in the gym for a while. We have lockdown for two months. And we have been back for six months. Oh, so you've actually had a pretty good, Will. Arizona's uh, treating you well for being able to get some training time. And Rich, hello from Chicago. Thanks for being here. And as part of your 21 resolutions, you're attempting to revive your singing career. Oh, that's awesome, Travis. You gotta get that done. All right, hold on. I did need... I need to go to messages, probably. Is that what I need? All right, um... Uh, Muzis, send me in messages uh, that link if you can. I think that's the best way for me to check it out. I don't know where, I don't know where to look for it, unfortunately. And I, I haven't used Facebook in so long, <laughs> but I know where my messenger is. I'll say that. And Sam Lee, hello from Essex, uh, United Kingdom. I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Well, okay, I think I've caught up with all the chats right there, and. Uh, Let's see. Let's not forget Miss Biles. Oh, we can never forget Miss Biles. That's for sure. All right. Well, to start, let's uh, let's just get things moving. We're gonna get our warm up going. Start the day off right. And uh, has Jake Dalton just become a dad? That he has. He is a proud father of a beautiful daughter. But yeah, very pumped for him and to see him making these life moves is awesome. All right. We're gonna start with our twenty jumping jacks. And we, oh. Jesus, I keep hitting this thing, guys. <laughs> and who's barking like crazy? That was Marshall. He was getting it. And you posted it on my wall. All right, how do I get to my wall? Um, home? Um, I don't know where a wall is. <laughs> um, all I'm seeing is a bunch of engagement stuff. Guys, what's a wall? <laughs> oh wait, that's my other Facebook. Whoops, that's my personal one. I need to go to the other one. I don't know how to get the switch account. No. All right, never mind. I don't know how to do it. We're gonna get back to that later. <laughs> All right, back to our jumping jacks. <laughs> oh, and happy new. Oh my gosh, it's two times in a row. All right, I gotta move back. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Mark. I need to. I need to chill out. <laughs> Starting this new year on a crazy note, apparently. <laughs> you love watching. You do jumping jacks. Well, we we're gonna do a lot of these over the next coming weeks. So glad you're enjoying it because <laughs> there you're you're gonna get a lot of it. <laughs> All right, this is four, five, six. Toki. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. Thanks for being here. 
All right, 20 of these. Split jacks, or no, seal jacks. Take this, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20. Oh, I see the link coming in. All right, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get on there, I promise. <laughs> One. All right, we're gonna do three on each side. Two. Three. Four. Five. Split. All right, now we're gonna do split jacks. 20, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now we're gonna do our side lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Next. We're gonna hit our eccentric push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, nope, we're gonna do seal stretch. Downward dog, pick up those toes. Downward dog, seal stretch. Downward dog. There we go. Next we're gonna do our yoga stretches. Foot by hand, elbow to heel. Reach. Breathe. Thread the needle. Switch. Elbow to heel. Reach. Thread the needle. One more round on each side. Reach. Thread the needle. Switch. Last one. Thread the needle. Nice. Whoop. All right. Before we hit our circuit, let me just answer the chat again. Um. Whew. All right. I see the link. Thank you very much for sending that. I don't know why I struggle so much. Uh, I can't copy it. Wait, maybe if I go to YouTube I can? Maybe not, maybe not. All right, well, I'm gonna, wait. Copy, control, C. Let's see if this works. <laughs> yes, it does. All right, I got it. Thank you very much, Muziz, for that. All right. Oh, that's an awesome. Monks of the Dark Abbey. That sounds sweet. Um, and Matthew, how are you doing? Inspired to do gymnastics for the first time, or when I watched you for the first time last year. How's the COVID situation there in the U.S.? Where are you tuning in from, Matthew? Appreciate you being here. Um, appreciate those kind words, too. <laughs> and the COVID situation, so we can't train at our normal gym at the Olympic Training Center right now. Um, but we're training at the Air Force Academy for about three to four hours once a day. Um, so that's a good, decent setup we have. Can't wait to get back home. I just got off a three week quarantine because my fiance got COVID. Um, but other than that, it's my grind starting again for the Olympic year, so I'm pumped for that. Um, and Chris, Sosa, shaking. We're getting things going today. <laughs> Matthew, oh, you're tuning in from uh, the Philippines. Appreciate you being here. And Edward just stopping to say hello. Thanks for tuning in. Always appreciate the hello and hope you have a great day. And did you see Kazuki's crazy 7-3 D score on floor? Yes, I did. That was insane. I mean, it's just, it doesn't even look real. It looks so easy for him, too. That's the most amazing part. <laughs> and as for jumping jacks, you'll take everything you got and then some. That's what I like to hear. And Toki, the most difficult floor routine ever, 100%. It's getting so nuts. And you're glad things are going well in the gym. I appreciate that. 
It's it's definitely improving, and I'm excited. I've had a lot of time to think about technique and make some changes. And your son just got his certificate to fly helicopters in May, so he's going to move to the USA to work. That's awesome. He flew over your home one month ago. That is really cool. Well, good for him for having uh you know getting things done and finding his passion and making it his career. That's incredible. And your son. Oh yeah, there we are. <laughs> And you're exercising in camouflage onesie because it's cold. <laughs> well, you're cold and you're invincible. That's awesome. Or invisible. <laughs> That's a good combo right there. And how you doing, Ella Maurice? And your coach says that he and Zhou uh, Jingwang are from Mars. Yes, I 100% agree. They they are undeniably like aliens to this gymnastics world, and they're changing the game. And if anyone wants a, oh yeah, the hundred percent. Check that link out. Link out if you want to meditate. Um, and Will, do you have all your routines set, or do you have no idea what your routines are? I I know what they pretty much are for the most part. It's just how many upgrades are we gonna be able to get in there? And have I ever tried to do a beam routine? No. I it would might be funny for you guys, but it could be very painful on my end. <laughs> and how's Mia? Love both of your energies. Always send you positive. Love and energy. Well, thank you very much. We'll, we'll try keeping that up and bringing the positive vibes for everyone. But she's doing great. She's uh, out picking up some, uh, I guess, like late Christmas presents for her dad. She's or he's coming over soon for just a little hangout, play some games before the workout. But you know, she's doing well, and we're gonna see how the next uh, week goes with her second interview that she's gonna have for her new job. So fingers crossed it goes well. And Tomohiro, happy New Year to you too. And John, what's the earliest you suggest a toddler in gymnastics? The local classes here start at 18 months, but that's a significant contribution for such a young age. I, I don't know. I was doing the two-year-old mommy and me classes, and I mean, if it's just something you think they would enjoy, then put them in. If it seems like they don't enjoy it, don't do it. But I mean, I'd say, you know, there's nothing wrong with putting them in at 18 months. <laughs> but, you know, as long as it seems fun and like they enjoy it then I say go with it give it a try if it works don't do it if it does do it <laughs> that's my philosophy yeah no worries no worries and I won't wreck myself Haley I promise but we're gonna start with our core circuit warm-up with 10 side crunches on each side that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten cross toe touches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten side v ups twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20 switch one two three four high bonito six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty sixty seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty hi Lenny twenty toe touches one two three four five six seven eight nine 10. I said toe touches, but these are V-ups. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, 20 arch rocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next we're gonna do our use 20 of them, if Lily will let us. <laughs> Two, thank you Lily. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. 10, 20. Butterflies, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26
50, 60, 17, 18, 19, 20, swimmer kicks, 20, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, heel touches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, arch ups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, hold for our scissor swimmer kicks, and then 10 second hold, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're going to do 15 butt ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 30 crunches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, wait, it's a 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 second hollow hold, 1, or 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Diagonal reaches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, 15 Russian twists. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Woo good stuff, good stuff. Time to take a swig and hydrate. <laughs> All right, let me uh, go back in the chat real quick. All right, don't wreck yourself. I promise, Haley, no more wrecking myself. Um, best pendant to wear to keep your energy and your spirit grounded and protect yourself from bad energies is a snowflake obsidian. You swear by wearing it? I like that. That would actually be a really cool thing. I think just having something to constantly have around your neck is a good way just to constantly remember the, the goals and the vibes you're trying to project and intake. And Marcos, when am I coming to Brazil? Ah, I don't know. Not, not anytime soon at least. <laughs> have it, I've got more Tokyo plans hopefully than I do for Brazil, but I'd love to come back sometime soon. Uh, I definitely, I need to see more of Brazil, that's for sure, in my lifetime. <laughs> and your old gym had a 10-week gymnastics class. They mostly taught kids to lift their head and turn over. Hey, you know, I mean, I was doing like little baby rolls and somersaults on like mats and crawling in the pit, and apparently that seemed to be what sent me on a passion for <laughs> my entire life. So you never know how, uh, how the kid's gonna react to it, and it's gotta be their decision, what they're, you know passions are and what their life choices are so give them the opportunities for everything and then they'll find their best way and Mia will definitely get that job don't worry our fingers are crossed we don't want to be too optimistic but we want to we want to project positivity but we definitely want to just you know not put too much pressure on the situation for her for her sake and uh yeah oh so gymnastics class for 10 week olds yeah I mean I, it's not a bad idea to be honest 
that could be a little too early for me at least, but I, you know, I'd say if they seem to be laughing and giggling and enjoying the tumbling, then it's worth it. And yeah, Lily was definitely being so distracting right there. <laughs> and you gotta get in the pool sometime, give you a few races. Oh, no, you'll definitely beat me. I might not even make it down to the end of the pool. <laughs> Uh, that's something that actually we were looking at some houses uh, up in Denver and we we're like wait What if we got a pool in our backyard? Like how cool would that be? And so we're, we're kind of start got us thinking even though Colorado freezes, you know Just having time for <laughs> like having a pool for the summer days would be so much fun And you have the same problem uh, with my back so you have to stop gymnastics when you're 19 Yeah, injuries will always get the best of us and 10 years later you have to do four Oh, OP in your back? Wait, uh, what's OP? But you're okay. It sounds like you're getting injections, though. That does not sound fun. And you, I uh, was best in Sweden when you were 13 to 16. They wanted you to go to the Olympia in 1984, but couldn't. Oh, that's such a bummer. I know, I'm sorry. But, hey, you got your passion in the sport, and I'm sorry it took you down that horrible path. Uh, I'm sure you found some new passions afterwards, though, that give you the same type of fulfillment. And, uh, you know, everything happens so that you can uh, handle it and figure out what's best for you next. So I'm sure you took a good way to, good positive mindset for it. Your trouble's having trouble saying the word gymnastics, she calls the trick show. <laughs> hey, that's fine, it's kind of, it is a trick show, so whatever works for her. And when do we get that skincare routine though? <laughs> I actually, Mia got me for Christmas a uh, Curology, uh, like a monthly subscription for Curology. So whatever I'm getting from her from that, that's what we're giving, a, that's what I'm going for right now. <laughs> Appreciate the compliment though, Giovanni. I guess it's uh, reassuring that it's working. <laughs> and awesome exercises, do you have a YouTube channel where you can go back and rewatch? I do, yeah, just type in, uh, at, or I think it's youtube.com slash C for channel slash Samuel McCulloch 2021. And that should take you right there. Um, and greetings from, and tons of good vibes from France. You, you'll do amazing in Tokyo. Thank you very much. My fingers are crossed. I got, I got this whole burning passion starting up with this new year. So I'm ready, ready to get things going. And how many competitions between now and Tokyo? Uh, it's looking like three. So not very many. And that's including trials. So, or championships and trials. And oh, love you from Amsterdam. Damien, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, me and I did a little Euro trip to Amsterdam. Well, we did Iceland, Ireland, and Amsterdam. And Amsterdam was our absolute favorite place. If there's one city we could move to internationally, it would be Amsterdam. <laughs> and if you and Mia have a kid, would you coach them? Or if they decide to do gymnastics? No, I wouldn't coach them. I don't like the father-son dynamic for coaching. Um, but I would, uh, I would, you know, help guide. But I wouldn't want to be the direct coach. I would want someone else to do it. Because I, I, I wouldn't want to have that bias over my uh, kid and the other kids in the class. <laughs> and you rolled to two, or what is it? And I rolled a D20 to decide how good 2021 will be. And you got an 18, so it looks like we're in for a good one. That's what I like to hear, Dylan. We're in for a good one, 100%. <laughs> um, and then what else we got? And what's my biggest dream? Oh, I don't know. You know, I mean, obviously gymnastics related, I want to get an Olympic medal, um, but I think I have to start looking beyond that as well. I think uh, having like just a self-fulfilling, you know, I guess I want to find like peace and, uh, you know, understanding and I guess happiness with every day. You know, I think that's really what I want. I just want to be able to wake up every day and then live just a happy, simple life. <laughs> I think that's really what I'm looking forward uh, with all my mindfulness I've been going through too. And your niece used to call off, call round offs Gandalfs. That's even better. I'm gonna start calling them Gandalfs. Who doesn't need a little more Gandalf in their life? <laughs> and the best exercise in the pool, low impact. Use hemp cream, awesome for the skin. Hundred percent. I I could vouch for that. But yeah, I do agree. The low impact is great for the pool. I, I think that's something I would like to do. So hopefully we could get a pool in our future. And uh, Maria, we'll find out. We're not sure if the Olymp or I, I still have to make the Olympic team in June. So we got a lot of trials before we can commit to actually being uh, an Olympian for this year. And a good afternoon to you too, Beth. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. I'm very happy to be so inaccessible. Or very happy to be so accessible. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate that. But with that, all right, I think I caught up with most of the chat. And uh, let's hit our next exercises. 
All right, we're going to do our eccentric pull-ups. We're going to go, oof. We're going to do five of them, four seconds on the way down. One, two, three, four. 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 Now we're going to do our skin the cats. Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Next, we're going to do our handstand hold for whatever feels right. All right. Do it against the wall. Turn out the our parallettes. Try to get our uh, elbows facing the insides of our elbows to face forward. Turn them out with your lats. I like a good amount of time. All right, and then we're gonna finish with our last eccentric pull-ups in the front grip. One, two, three, four. 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 Nice. All right. Let's stretch it out, talk to the chat. There we go. All right, let's slide this over. Bring this a little closer. Tilt this down. There we go. Whew. All right. Um, and then where did we end off? I'm very happy to be accessible. <laughs> Uh, try making that as easy as possible. <laughs> and least favorite skill ever to compete level 8 plus? Ooh. Well, let's see. What do I hate to compete the most? Um, it's going to sound weird, but like, for some reason, I just really don't like doing quests. Maybe that's not, that's not it. No, I hate Magyar. I think Magyar is my least favorite skill of all time. <laughs> I, I, it's not that it's like hard or anything. I just don't like how much deduction it always incurs. Every time I do it, I just feel like it's not worth it. <laughs> um, let's see. Other than that, I might say ring strength could be, could be one of the other ones that I just like really am not a big fan of <laughs> doing a lot of ring strength. Uh, in competition. <laughs> um, let's see. One backflip. I got you, Ali. We'll do one backflip in here. You ready? Oh, per your request. Oh, look out, Bubba. You're, this this isn't a good spot for you. Yeah, stay there. No, no. You gotta come up here if you're gonna... Or go up there. Alright, you ready? Woo, there we go. We got a backflip for you. <laughs> Um, what about you, that guy? What's uh, what's your least favorite skill to get done? Woo! 
Yeah, he does want to learn a backflip for sure. <laughs> I don't know if he would actually want to do it. Oh, hi, Barnito. How are you doing? <laughs> and I say I'm looking more flexible now than you were a few weeks ago. <laughs> a few weeks back, keep it up. Will do. We're definitely going to keep this range of motion uh, prioritized throughout the year. <laughs> um, and when's my next competition, Tara? It is going to be... Well, hopefully Tokyo Cup in um, in April or May. I'm not sure which one, but that's that's what it's looking for. Um, so not for a while, but plenty of time to get back in competition shape. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Giovanni, best stretch for lower back pain. Oh, the best one for lower back pain. All right. So you'll be in a pike position. Cross your foot over and lean over the foot that is crossed over. Lean over to that side. Try going low, and then reach to the side. Low, reach to the side. Then you'll switch, do this guy. Low, and then reach. Low, and then reach. That's my favorite for lower back pain. And then stretching the hip flexors is another good one, which we're doing now, where you hit the 90 degree, 90 degree, and you try getting your weight over this heel, or even more if you can. And then you switch. Um, and then where else we got? And uh, is there a way to watch any men's gymnastics online these days? Uh, yeah, there's really, I mean, yeah, there really isn't any <laughs> coverage. Um, there's NCAAs and things like that, but uh, there's not, or, well, competitions are gonna start coming up, I think, in two weeks, so maybe we'll uh, stream a couple if we get permission, and uh, we could just kind of like all watch it together on my channel or something. Uh, and Julie, your six-year-old son saw me compete live at the American Cup this year. He watches the replay of the broadcast on YouTube at least twice a week. No way, that's so awesome. Well, thank you for uh, being a big advocate, and uh, tell your son I said thanks for being a big fan, and hope all the best for him in his career. And that guy, you stopped at JD because he had to move uh, on a boat to cruise the Bahamas. What? Sounds like you're living a sweet life right there. But you say anything on pommels because, oh, your shins. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Pommels will always uh, treat, your sh <laughs> treat your shins in a very brutal manner. <laughs> and I got that life lesson uh, relearned a couple days ago. <laughs> but yeah, please stream. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. The problem is... Uh, rights to the stream because then it, it'll get flagged and taken down but as long as I go through the right avenues I'd like to get that going and can you please or Christian can you please message me you're going to record this video share with my friends all right sounds good well thank you very much Christian for tuning in we appreciate you being here every day and always putting in some good vibes in the chat hope all the best for you in this new year and keep things grinding let's get after it and Tara, are there are any of the other men's gymnastics like Shane or Yule going to pe compete in the competition in February? Yeah, I mean, it seems like I'm really the only like high-level gymnast that won't be competing at Winter Cup. So everyone else should be grinding it out uh, in Indianapolis at the end of February. And you oh, never forget when you when you did the best vault in London. <laughs> that one was always one I'll remember as well. <laughs> Um, and you love to see me on that event. Best trainer you have died of cancer last year. Oh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry about that. And you're gonna finish your next video up today. Get, all right. So I can go post it on Monday. Oh shoot, I still need to check that out, Dylan. That's my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna get after that. I'm gonna get after that. And you gotta go get back to school. No worries, that guy. Go get it done. Um, I actually gotta get going too. Going to go make some lunch. Mia's coming to be home any second now, so got to get things ready. But Maria, so sorry for your loss 100%. That is always a bummer. But keep the positive vibes going. Uh, remember him in positivity and love. And then from there, just always keep that memory alive. And then is there any way to get the dogs to leave you alone when you're on the floor? <laughs> you have to lock them out of the room. <laughs> That's really the only way, unfortunately. Is there going to be American Cup this year? No, there won't. So there's going to be other World Cups, but because American Cup happened last year, uh, they said that the results from that are going to stand going into next year. 
But yeah, thank you very much, Dylan. I appreciate you saying uh, peace. I'll catch you guys all later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.